jasonnewland.com My name is Jason Newland and this is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes I hope you're well I hope you're keeping safe and as per usual this is going to be both a relaxation session and a sleep session because there's pretty much no difference at all between the two it's still the same process falling asleep 99% relaxing So I thought it would be quite nice to focus on our body, get in touch with how you're feeling, starting with your forehead. And as we do the body scan going down, Focusing on each part of your body. You're not trying to change how you're feeling. You're not trying to cause that part of your body to relax. You're just noticing. Accepting exactly how you actually feel in this moment. So there's no right or wrong way to feel. It's okay if you focus on a certain part of your body and it feels tense or maybe there's some physical pain there it's about just accepting that that's how you feel in this moment so you're not trying to push away any feelings or trying to hold on to any feelings it's a very fluid natural relaxing freedom to just experience how you experience yourself in this very moment this process you will find yourself becoming more relaxed naturally because when you're sitting down in a comfortable chair that supports your body or if you're lying on your bed or a comfortable flat surface your body naturally starts to relax and your mind naturally starts to slow down because there is nothing to think about except the things that I mention it's almost as if you're giving me permission to fly plane or drive the car of your mind and you can just become a passenger for a while you can relax completely safe to know that you're always 
is in control if you need to be. You can just relax into my voice as we now focus on your eyes. feel not just your eyelids but the muscles around your eyes and what I like to do is raise my eyebrows because it stretches my eyes I can get more in touch with how my eyes feel also stretches my forehead crunches my forehead up noticing that connection because sometimes I'll feel stress in my eyes and my forehead Almost as if they really are one and the same sometimes. Then I guess every part of our body is connected with each other. As you move your focus down to your jaw. as I move down my body and the more I focus on the different parts of your body breathing seems to become so much easier fresher it's like the somehow cleaner and cool it's almost as if you're breathing in healing energy filled with relaxation and that healing energy and relaxation mixed together spreads throughout your body to the places where you need it most and when you breathe out the stress and tensions that were in your body before any residue left over can just disappear with each breath focusing on your jaw and your mouth your tongue your teeth your gums your lips still notice how just by focusing on my jaw it almost 
almost feels a bit looser. And if you like, you can move your jaw from side to side. Maybe even clench it gently and then let it go. It's up to you and only do what feels comfortable. If that allows you to get more in touch with the physical sensations of your jaw and your mouth. Now focus in on your ears. Now, if I'm honest, I find I don't notice much about my ears. Generally, it's a kind of a weird part to get in touch with. But what you might want to do is actually touch your ears gently. And then let go. Just by touching your ears, the blood flows goes to those parts, and you can get more in touch with how your ears actually feel. Noticing the physical sensation of your ears such an important part of us, yet almost ignored in a way, you know, to the side of our, our head and we don't generally need to pay much attention to them, even though they are amazing what they do for us. Focus in on the back of your neck. And the front of your neck. Your throat. And the sides of your neck. All of those muscles. That take the weight of your head. In its stride without any complaints always there to support your head and the neck is again such an important part of your body I find like I guess a lot of people the back of my neck sometimes holds a bit of stress, a bit of tension, sometimes just because of the physical activity, the stresses and strains of, I guess, supporting my head. <laughs> I must have a really big head. During, during relaxation sessions, the uh, back of the neck is often mentioned, but the sides of the neck, the sides, seem to be almost forgotten, yet they're just as important. You can't have a back and a front without the sides. Helping the balance, taking the weight, and supporting your head, and as you just notice. 
notice how your neck feels, including your throat and the front of your neck. Just noticing how your throat feels, because of course it's not just the neck itself, it's inside the windpipe where you breathe, where you eat, the food passing through, again such an important part that it deserves your attention, it deserves acknowledgement. started to relax. In fact, my whole body is relaxing. I wonder how relaxed you're feeling as you listen. focusing on your chest, being aware of that area from your neck down the front of your body, all the way down to your midsection.
Noticing how you feel in your chest when you breathe. Maybe you can also notice how you feel in your back as well. So in your chest you can feel Almost a similar effect in your back because when your chest moves your back also moves with that breathing. Noticing your upper back. chest, you can feel your abdominal muscles moving when you breathe. And when I focus on my stomach, notice my back as well, my lower back. So focus in on your lower back, that part of you that moves all the way down to your coccyx. muscles either side of your spine, just being aware you may wish to move your body slightly, noticing the tiniest 
vastly. You can focus on your feet and your toes, being aware of how your feet feel on top of your feet, the bottoms of your feet, the sides of your feet, and your toes. that sense of relaxation in your whole body continues to grow your mind continues to drift as a cat 